Today I'm going to be reviewing this Liberway truck tent that was recently sent to me by the brand. And I figure a great way to test out a truck tent is to actually get it set up and put it on the back of my truck. So I do have a Toyota Tacoma here that I'm going to be installing it on. So it does recommend for the assembly that you do that on the ground and then move it into the back of your truck from there. So I'm going to go ahead and go through that process, seeing how long that's going to take. Now it says for the setup that you actually want to go ACB on when putting these into the tent themselves. The problem is none of these are actually marked ACB, but they are kind of color coded. So you can see here, the shortest one is going to be the C pole. The longest one is the B pole, and then there's two A poles and they are kind of rubber banded together. So going on that, you're going to then have the A poles are going to be the red. The C pole is going to have no color on it at all. And then the B pole is going to be the blue one. But it does say on the instructions that your B pole is going to be the longest. Now these are going to go together just by like taking this and flipping it like so. And it's just going to flip one right after the other. And it's just going to take and kind of go right into position with that little string that's inside of it. Just kind of pulls it right into place pretty easily. So you can see on there how easy that just goes right inside and now we are together so the b pole is only a hair longer so although it is the longest one you can see here it's actually only that's even on the end there so it's only maybe an inch or two longer so definitely not super long but that does make it a little bit easier that the instructions say that since they are color coded it would kind of make sense for the instructions to say what color it is but they really don't so not the end of the world just something to keep in mind on that let's go ahead and get the poles into the tent so although the instructions say you should install a, A, C, B, that's totally wrong. You should 100% install the B first. The B is going to be the one that's going to curl up on the end to keep your tent tent end open essentially and the a's stretch across the top the issue is if you're trying to put this up by yourself you got your b that's kind of you're trying to get across and the a's are weighing it down and making it where it's not moving as it should so huge hassle don't start with the a's don't start with the c's put the b in first then do the a a's and then do your c I struggled with this B for probably five to 10 minutes trying to get it to go in and it kept falling over and it kept popping out of the ends and whatever. As soon as I took those A's out, it immediately went in exactly how it should have. So definitely start with the B, ignore the instructions. So it is assembled. Total assembly time on this was about 20 minutes. And again, I spent a lot of time fooling with the uh, this end B one after the A's were in. So I definitely would recommend putting the B in first. Let me just kind of show you what it's going to look like. I don't have the rain top on it yet. I are supposed to do that once you get it onto the truck, but I just want to kind of show you what it's going to look like um, in, in general. So these are going to be color coded on your bottom. So red, it is going to be color coded on the tent, just not on the instructions. So red is going to be A. So you've got that one goes across there and then that one from this side goes across the other way. And then B is going to be blue, again, color coded on the tent itself. So it goes up and across and then C is just going to kind of go up and across the top. It just goes from one eyelet here through that little thing and then through the other eyelet there to keep the top up. So let me go ahead and put it onto the truck. So I got my wife up in here, got it up in the back of the truck. As you can see, she's five foot three and it's, she's going to have to crouch a bit. So I'm going to say it's probably only like maybe a little under five foot tall, even in the center. So it's not going to be like super tall where you can stand up. Now, one thing to keep in mind is if you do have your most trucks are going to have like a wheel well that goes up. So on ours, they're actually going to be up on the side like that. So it is going to decrease your space in the middle, but definitely has plenty of space. You are definitely going to want an air mattress or something to go right inside of here as your bed of the truck is not going to be very comfortable at all. But you do have those little air vents on the sides. So you can easily get good airflow inside. If it's not rain, not going to rain, you can just leave that top open like that. And then to strap it down, it does come with all the straps that you need. So you have these straps here on the side to strap it to the tailgate. You're also going to have straps that are going to come around here. So let me show you those. And these are just going to be designed to hook right around your vehicle's body. So just going to be hooks like this that you can take and you can strap down to say the, um, just the metal part of your body like so. And then you can just take and tighten this up. So that way you get a nice tight fit on this tent, keep it from moving that sort of thing. So overall, definitely really nice. If you're going out camping and maybe you don't want to set up a tent on the ground, something like that. The only downside would be that assembly time is just if you're one person, it's going to take you a little bit. If you had two people, it definitely would be a lot easier. And it's definitely going to take two people to get up in the truck. So if you're solo camping, you're going to have to try and get somebody else to help you or just kind of try and get it up there and struggle with it and that sort of thing. With two people, it did make it a lot easier. But overall, definitely a really nice little tent for the back of your truck.